When it comes to China's ugliest buildings, there's some real competition. John Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by PC Doctor Toolbox. Protect your PC from software crashes, hardware failures, and the kind of glitches that make your life miserable. So China builds more skyscrapers than the rest of the world combined. And sometimes there are unusual choices, as you can see from the buildings behind me. This skyline is a composite image, but each building is real and roughly to scale. Yes, even the liquor bottle which is a real seven-story building in Sichuan province. I don't know who designed this building, but I know what he was drinking. Anyway, today I have some good news for lovers of China's unique architecture. It's time for the 12th annual Ugliest Building in China survey. That's right, every year this Chinese architecture website holds a competition for the ugliest building in China. Now you might be thinking, how many ugly buildings can there possibly be in China? Well, this year has almost 90 contenders, and this is the 12th competition. In fact, ugly buildings are such a thing that back in 2014, Chinese leader Xi Jinping specifically issued a directive calling for an end to oversized, xenocentric, and weird structures. Earlier this year, China supposedly banned weird and ugly buildings. The National Development and Reform Commission said skyscrapers aren't allowed to be taller than 500 meters. China already has five skyscrapers taller than 500 meters, six if you include Taiwan as part of China. The commission also said the construction of ugly architecture must be strictly banned, and the Chinese buildings must be suitable, economic, green, and pleasing to the eye. What does the Chinese Communist Party consider suitable or pleasing? Well. They didn't actually give any specific guidelines. So, like everyone who's subject to censorship in China, it's up to the architect to be terrified of accidentally crossing the party line. This year's ugliest building competition has already gotten more than 30,000 votes. As of when we recorded this episode, leading the pack is a five-arched gate at Zhejiang University in Hangzhou, the capital of Zhejiang province. That seems not that ugly. Like it's average ugly, but not weird ugly. Number two is much stranger, a glass bridge in Sichuan held up by giant statues in traditional dress. Now personally, I feel they get even stranger than this. This museum has been compared to bowls of ramen. These skyscrapers are joined by this weird glass roof. These buildings look like they're melting. This one speaks for itself. Well, if it actually spoke, it would be terrifying. This one is a cross between a church and a violin. Maybe it's where Chinese parents go to pray their children will someday play at Carnegie Hall. And I'm not really sure what they were going for on this one. Though it does remind me of my favorite episode of Stargate. As I said, there's almost 90 buildings in the contest this year. Check them out, I've put a link below. Voting will continue until December, then a panel of judges made of architects, critics, and academics will vote. And at the end of the year, they'll select 2021's ugliest buildings. And considering how much Xi Jinping hates ugly buildings, I would not want to be the winning architect. Especially now that there's talk of a credit system that could blacklist designers who do not comply with planning regulations. And you know who else you don't want to be? The guy whose computer crashes when you're about to give a career-making presentation. And that's why this episode is sponsored by PC Doctor Toolbox. Because sometimes your computer feels like an ugly building inside. What with software bugs, hardware failures, and general slowdowns that build up over time. Fortunately, there's PC Doctor Toolbox. If you're concerned about the health of your computer and want tools to prevent untimely system issues, you should be using PC Doctor Toolbox. Stop crashes before they happen. And we have a special 50% off discount just for China Uncensored viewers. Use the link and coupon code below to take advantage of this limited time offer. I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.